Okay, so with me being a baseball person, um, the next one rotation we're going to work at is a progressive um, throw, um, as if we would um, be trying to re-educate someone or teach someone to throw after some type of surgery. So um, this is the second progression of the throwing phase. Uh, the first progression would be the person on both knees um, throwing to a person probably only 10 or 15 feet away looking more for form than accuracy um, and obviously we had something we this would we would start this with a um, without a ball at all and just mostly going through the motion and um, then progressively add a ball to it okay so um, Maria if you could pretend here you have a glove you're going to rotate back as if you're going to throw a ball have your arm out in front of you you're going to pull this ball in and come across as if you were to throw the ball okay do that by yourself. I have to pull this arm in. Yes, you do. Okay. It doesn't have to be fast. Just more work on the form, the motion, than the speed. There you go. Working on twisting. Good. Two more times. Okay, then the pro next progression we would do is the patient, we would have the, uh, the athlete come to a standing position. Um, we'd have them with their um, stand like this, okay, arms out at the side, and then you would step and throw. Work, again, working on the twisting. And we would build this up so that they would, um, again, we'd use a TheraBand and then have a ball as they continue to not have any pain or discomfort, we would increase the distance and the um, speed at which they would do this. So again, one of the things that we're working on here is mostly form and not necessarily um, function, okay? Uh, so uh, I know my wife is happy that these videos are over and hopefully it'll be a long time before we see her again on another one. Thank you.